Hey, good morning. It's Mike Torino. Today is the 1st of March, and it's the morning here. It's about 25 minutes after 6. Camera's facing east. This is episode 24. I mean, anything bad that happens in this episode, I don't want to try to cover up or not film. And I haven't so far, I'm trying to be open. But we had another kind of miniature disaster the other morning. We installed our 1500 liter plastic septic tank. I installed it according to the manufacturer's recommendations. We placed it in excavated soil, installed the tank, and backfilled the tank with a mixture of sand, soil, and gravel, equal parts. The manufacturer recommended that for every pound or kilo of soil that you backfill with, that you add the equivalent weight in water to the tank. The water is to give that tank some some volume and some weight to prevent it from uplifting. So I didn't realize the importance of that. I knew it had to be done. We did put some water in the tank. and I didn't follow up to make sure that the guys put more water in the tank. Everything seemed fine for like a week or two. And then we had a day and a half of steady rain and everything was fine. We came in the, in the morning and the tank had uplifted. Basically, the entire septic tank floated on about maybe eight inches of water. And I, I'll post a picture up here, up here. Also, a link to the episode where we installed the tank. And this, surprisingly, after some research, I found out that this can even happen to a concrete septic tank. I'll post a link in the description of a young lady who uh, is vlogging and they installed a sizable concrete tank and they didn't fill it with water either. And sure enough, when they received a unexpected large rain, the entire concrete tank lifted up and floated on the water. And I didn't think that was even possible, but that's the power of, of water. <laughs> and. I remember some videos where some people had gotten together and had a concrete boat race where they they made boats out of concrete. That was the rule. It can only be concrete, no wood, no fiberglass, no plastic. And sure enough, you know, those boats floated and they raced them. So just because you have a concrete tank versus a plastic tank, that's not the reason why my septic tank floated being plastic. It's the matter of the water. I've found that the water here it will go down in about 24 hours after a heavy rain. We're going to put our tank back in. This time we're going to make sure we fill it up. At least the center tank, I'm going to fill it up with water. And possibly the whole thing, at least three quarters of the way. So I think that'll solve the problem. But it was just very surprising. Learning along the way, of course. I hope that this advice might help you if you're going to install any type of septic tank. Even if it's poured in place concrete, it will float given enough water. And then I started thinking about, well, we know plastic tanks will float. We know poured in place concrete tanks will float. That leaves a tank with hollow block. Will those float? And I, I don't know. I'm guessing no, because this is what I think would happen to a concrete block septic tank. I think it would crack. The, the amount of water pressure that it takes to lift a tank, I think that the concrete hollow block would probably crack rather than lift. And maybe you wouldn't know it's cracked. So that's also something to think about. So whether it's concrete hollow block, plastic, or concrete, make sure you fill your septic tank with water if it's not going to be used right away. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe and see some more of my mistakes. See you next time.